to Remarkable Essence. My name is Don Loney Kazi and I am your host. Today we're going to be focusing on learning about visionaries and massages and we have some awesome guests and we're going to have an awesome show. I'm so excited, especially since this is the launch of our first show. So thank you all for tuning in this evening and taking the time out to join us. First, before we get to our special guest this evening, I wanted to tell you about our product of the month. Each month we're going to feature a different product that can help you with your overall health and wellness and just um, make you feel better, have more energy, which I know a lot of us like to have that, right? I know I do, especially after a long, hard day's work. So uh, this month's product is Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or what we call our BTT. And it is great for uh, probiotics that helps with your digestive system. It also helps with your immune system. If you are uh, gluten intolerant, um, it'll help. it's gluten free, so it helps you with that as well. Um, it helps also to lower your blood sugar levels. And so it comes in different flavors, orange. Uh, today I have the peach here, um, but it's a great, great product. Now, I know you're wondering, Dawn, why do I need this? Well, we need 90 essential vitamins and minerals in our diet daily and so this particular product has 115 fruits and vegetables now I know you can't imagine eating 115 fruits and vegetables within a day I mean it's hard especially the fast-paced environment that we live in a lot of us have to have that quick um, food we're on the go but with your BTT you can take that you're gonna have the energy that you need you're gonna have the vitamins and the minerals that you need and the nutrients that your body needs to heal itself so uh, if you want to learn more about BTT, you can go to www.mysoulpurpose2.com and you can learn more about mineral deficiencies and what you may need more to have into your diet. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our first guest today, who is Melissa Alaba. She is a life coach, an author, a speaker. She is a thought leader, and she is just a beautiful person. You're going to love her spirit and her personality. Uh, she's also the CEO of Vision Works Counseling and Coaching. Um, she's well sought out uh, at leader. She just released a book, Live Out Loud, and she's going to tell us more about that. So before Melissa comes on, let's take a look at this. excited that you were able to join us this evening and we know that you are a well thought leader in the visionary field as well as life coach 
Um, I understand that you got your degree in Chicago at Roosevelt University, um, your bachelor's yes. and your master's degree. Yes. And so just um, tell us about being a visionary coach and what it means or being a life coach, because I know a lot of people may wonder, what is a visionary coach? What is a life coach? Well, um, as a life coach, my job is to help people discover their purpose discover their dreams, and then put that to some action so they can see them fulfilled. Oh, wow. And I think it's just, it's, it's absolutely awesome to see people um, have their dreams come to life. You know, I've had clients write books, act in movies, um, wow. get their dream job, you know, and to get those phone calls and just see that when you really live on purpose, God adds so much to that. It's just amazing. It is. And I actually attended your visionary board workshop earlier this year, and it was phenomenal. And Thank if you've you. never been to a visionary board workshop, people, you have to go to one. I mean, it gives you a chance to just really brainstorm, dream, and Melissa actually helps just kind of pull out some of those things that you didn't even know probably was inside yeah. you, right? I so. love vision boards. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So um, I understand that you had a traumatic experience that kind of led you down the path of alternative health and methodology, and that just kind of got you started mm -hmm. in um, the life coaching um, arena. Tell us more about that Well, experience. actually, I've been a counselor for over 13 years, then um, a life coach, I would say, most of that time as well. I actually started life coaching before I became a counselor okay. um, because I was able to do that before I was licensed. So, oh, okay. so that part is really great. But the part where the holistic medicine comes in and living holistically, teaching meditation and really getting into um, God and allowing the universe to allow things to happen and, and roadblocks and understanding all of that, that probably came, I would say, 2008 okay. when I had a car accident. And I talk about that in my book and um, it was a traumatic incident where I um, had back injury, had to have surgery, oh, still a lot wow. of back pain, um, yeah. which then caused me to have to close my business, mm -hmm. uh, left my finances in the state, uh, family had to depend on them. It was even at one point where a doctor was like, I'm going to have to give you a cane the next time you come in here. Like oh, literally I had issues with walking and um, just was in tremendous amount of pain. Mm. Um, after the first surgery, still in a lot of pain, and just asking God, like, what is going on? Like, mm. my whole life just, everything is just falling apart. Yes. I would really, when I think about it now, I say I was in a, a season of losses. Yes. You know, yes. because I was just losing yes. stuff. Yes. <laughs> right? Right. Trust us, and a lot of us go through that. It's like, what in the world is right, going on? Right. Every, everywhere you go, everything just kind of right. falling Right, and I had never experienced that because I found my calling so early in life. Mm. And so I literally went from, you know, hearing God say, hey, you're supposed to be a healer, went to school for that, and just started doing it. Yes. And things were, you know, Walking on par. Your purpose. <laughs> So have this accident, and again, like I said, not healing, and I, I, I'm walking around the bookstore, and really, when I say walking, I probably was limping around, because I could not stand long periods of time on my feet um, okay. without being in tremendous amount of pain and having to sit down. Wow. So I, I saw this book that talked about cellular memory, and it talked about um, you can heal yourself through, through mindfulness and meditation. And I was like, at this point, I haven't tried everything else. And I got like a million narcotics in my bathroom <laughs> that I've been prescribed. So, I can imagine. And, and nothing was working. So I'm like, all right, talk to yes. myself. Yep, yep, yep. Walk through the pain. I remember reading. I was like, okay. So mm -hmm. I purchased the book. And the next day, I start walking. And I'm talking to my body because in the book, the guy said, you're going to be in a lot of pain. You're going to feel it. But continue to walk and, and talk to your body until your body is healed. Wow. And that in his book, what he basically talked about was the idea that at the moment that, that accident took place mm -hmm. and I felt the pain, I continued to have that memory with me. But the pain really wasn't existing anymore. Mm -hmm. It was now only in my head. Yes. Now, of course, your body still feel was in your head, right? Exactly. <laughs> so now I had to change that. But within three months, I was completely healed. Wow, yes. three months. Three months, I oh, was completely phenomenal. healed. Now, of course, my, my finances were still in a state of shock and awe. <laughs> nice. Because a lot of stuff had taken place during this, this time of being you know, ill and, and all those things. But I continued to meditate, 
And it was through that meditation that God gave me a new vision for myself and for my business. That's phenomenal. And so you mentioned your book, mm-hmm. the new book, Live Out Loud by Malicia Alaba. And here is my personal copy. Thank you so Yay. much. Yes. I'm so excited. Of course, I've already started reading the uh, e-book. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. I just couldn't wait. But this is a phenomenal book, a remarkable book. But what Thank has you. inspired you? And what do you want to convey to your readers once they get this book? For me, it's really just saying that you can overcome obstacles in your life and that you can live the life that you were meant to live no matter what's happened Mm -hmm. and that you're never too old, too sick, too anything. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, and you've read it. It's not a preachy book. Mm -hmm. It's 52 weeks and it's things that I did to get my life back. And, And I just share that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think we're always going through a process of learning. So you yes. never get to the point where you know everything. That's true. And as your coach, I'm not saying I know everything. I'm just saying I'm sharing with you what I've learned thus far. Mm-hmm. And I and I, I look to take people on a journey, and I feel like that's what the book does. Exactly. And it sure took me on a journey. I mean, it took me a lot of places. It took me some places I didn't want to go. You and see? I'm sure a lot of us <laughs> have them points in our life that... It's hard to look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. I mean, but sometimes you have to step back and you have to reevaluate what's going on around you. Right. And like you say, find your purpose, find mm-hmm. really what's... And your purpose can change. Yes. Because you might think it's one thing and then it's actually yes. supposed to be something else. And it could be multiple things. Mm-hmm. I think so many times we limit ourselves. You know, I'm reading a book now uh, by Queen Latifah, and I think it's called Wear Your Crown. And one of the things that she talks about is... If someone comes in the industry and they can only do one thing like a rap, they only have a career for one one year. Mm -hmm. But many of us limit ourselves to the one thing. Mm -hmm. And when she talks about herself, how she has done commercials, acting, producing, all these different things. We Mm -hmm. have multitude of talent, yet we don't exhaust them. We don't use them. And so we limit what God can do for us Mm -hmm. by just thinking one. one. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's right. So you've been on that job for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. <laughs> There's something else that you need to be doing besides just that. And many times we know this <laughs> because these are the things that people ask us about all the time. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, oh, you're a great organizer. You should help me with a party. Oh, no, I don't really, you know, do I don't, that. I'm not an organizer. Yeah. That's not my title. Yeah. <laughs> or I, I just like to do it in my free time. Mm-hmm. I really don't want to make any money at it. Exactly. You know? Exactly. <laughs> and it's so funny that you said, should say that because a lot of people may start off with doing a hobby first Mm -hmm. and then that hobby evolves into more Mm -hmm. of doing something else or more you know into a paid job or pay position Mm -hmm. or something like that so wow that's awesome well um you talked about god a lot and i know you have a strong relationship tell us about your faith and how that helped you when you were just going through the process of like you said seeking your healing writing your book i mean Mm -hmm. i know that can be a lot Um, yeah I just feel like God is always with us, and he definitely has always been with me. Um, Actually, I was talking to my daughter about this earlier today, is that so many people see God in terms of this religious feeling and and these religion-type things that we do, but they Mm -hmm. miss the relationship. Mm -hmm. And so I just feel like, you know, having this relationship with God has allowed me to do so many things. I definitely could not have done any of it without him Mm -hmm. and every day I'm just so thankful and I think staying in a state of gratitude Mm -hmm. helps keep me grounded in the relationship that I have with God yeah yeah and that is huge I mean you have to have a better understanding of not only who you are Mm -hmm. but who you are in God and that's uh, just that gives you that peace also gives you that confidence that you can do anything you can be anything um you can overcome like you said those obstacles that are in your life and so and you can fail you gonna fail. You are gonna fail. Look, if you don't think you're gonna fail, you just keep on living. That's, that's what it. the old people say. That's it. It's okay to fail. I think that's like that's one of the biggest fears that people have is that I'll do something mm-hmm. and it won't work. That's it's right. okay. That's right. You have that's tried right. it. You've done your part, and mm-hmm. that's what I think about everything that I put my hands to. God, I'll do my part. Because even with the book, what happens after I do my part, that is up to God. 
That's right. How he expands that, that's up to God. But everything that I'm supposed to do, I show up. That's it. You know, but I allow him to do the work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So where can people go to get this book or where can they go to hear more about your services that you offer? Because I understand you do workshops and seminars and, uh, of course, your counseling services that you provide. Where can they go to just get more information? Well, you can go to www melissaalaba.com and that's spelled M-E-L-I-S-A-A-L-A-B-A.com and the book is at barnesandnoble.com amazon.com and on kindle so you could just google the title live out loud and you can find it and also like I, like you talked about the workshops and things like that on my website you can find all that information wonderful well, yeah. melissa thank you so much for coming this evening thank and you. sharing with our audience and uh, now we're going to take a little break and our next guest is the profound founder of the atlanta school of massage and we're going to hear more from miss leticia allen in one moment to welcome Miss Leticia Allen. I am so honored to have you here this evening. Thank you. And uh, she is the founder of the Atlanta School of Massage, the uh, School of Aesthetics, I understand, right? And then they also have a School of Physical Therapy. It's actually a personal trainer program. Personal trainer. All right. And so tell us a little bit about how (laughs) how you put all those together, how all of those work together. Well, um... I think they're all about, uh, one thing is that they are all uh, growing industries. Okay. And our school is uh, about careers and people going into a new path in life. Um, So even though we might have uh, just someone who's straight from high school, but Mm -hmm. we also have students who are in their 60s. Uh, I think our oldest uh, student was maybe 78 when she took the program. So, really? oh sure, sure. So um, there's just a lot of opportunity. Though that's one of the things. Okay. Uh, one of the things that also brings them together is the is about wellness, well-being, and yes. about a healthy life, and about um, having um, a way to have a spirit and a body that allows you to fulfill your purpose. I mm-hmm. think that's what all three are about. That's Massage wonderful. therapy allows people to become more self-aware. Of course, it's also good for someone who might have particular ailments or who's been in an accident or mm-hmm. who has a lot of stress. Yes. But uh, it's also a wonderful vehicle for learning about yourself yes. because it's a quiet time. And uh, th- that's another thing that is that's a uh, runs through the three programs. It's about the practitioner being present for their client and really allowing a space for them to be able to um, learn about themselves, what's next, and then also, how do I feel? Yes. I think that uh, so often people are not aware of how they feel. That is so true. And uh, what's going on in terms of their their uh, health and well-being is very important. Yes. So those three, uh, I think that um, it's about the body, but it's about the mind, and it's about the spirit. Okay, so now I understand that now this is a pioneer that you have to know we have amongst <laughs> us. And so about 38 years ago, uh-huh. when alternative medicine was just coming about, yes, you decided to take a stand and say, hey, I'm going to pursue this alternative health care yes. yes. incentive and 
what made you, what motivated you, what caused you to want to move forward in that, especially during that time frame where a lot of people were like, oh, I don't know about, you know, alternative health or... A personal experience and just having it be a profound experience for me, this is massage therapy, we started with massage actually 34 years ago, and um, it was really out of personal experience. I loved it and I wanted to share it with people. Uh, and so we started the school out of our home. We actually moved to Atlanta and started the school with uh, $1,500, so $1,500 was all we had. We started advertising and, uh, and, um, and uh, ran it out of our home. We uh, were going to start a class and we had hoped for 12. We were going for 12, mm -hmm. prayed for six, <laughs> and uh, started with 29. Wow. So, you know, that, that was a, a great way to start. Definitely. But, um, then, of course, we had started out of our home, and unfortunately, uh, I didn't know we had to have a business license. <laughs> Or to be zoned, for it to be zoned yes. that way. So uh, we uh, had to find another place. Okay. And at that time, no one would lease to us. They said the massage was um, an unusual use of the space. <laughs> so we could not find a, a place to, to lease. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, we were helped by two women chiropractors. And they sublet space to us. Oh, uh, wow. We had one room. Um, actually, we had two rooms, one classroom, and then we had a little office, mm -hmm. and the bathrooms were right there in that little office. So literally, people would, the phone would ring, and if the toilet flush, I'd have to <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> and go, hold, hold on a sec. You know, go like this. And um, so that's how we started, but wow. we kept growing. Um, <laughs> It's really a story of, of personal um, experience and, and commitment. Yes, and I know that over time, massage therapy has greatly happened, you know, ha helped me out. But it all started off that I actually went to the chiropractor first. Mm -hmm. And then the massage therapist, of course, works hand in hand yes. with the chiropractor. But I never went just for, I guess, to be relaxed or I, it all started with me. Like you said, physical therapy it was actually a process that I had to go through. Yes. And so... That's how I kind of learned that, you know what, there's more to massage than just the relaxation piece of it. Yes. There, and, and, and aesthetics, you know, the face and your skin, I mean, that's the largest organ that you have on your body. Yes. So you start learning about these different things and how they work hand in hand. And so um, you, you, you started growing, and now you all have the aesthetic school. And so what type of offerings do you all have at that particular school like if somebody said okay I want to go and I want to be an esthetician or how do how they get they get started well they would come for a visit okay. because I think they one of the things that I love is that with this the we had the massage program for over 20 years then we started the aesthetics and then my new baby is the uh, personal trainer program okay. um, so you come for a visit and you see uh, what it's like you ask us questions see if we're the right school for you um, and I think that people will once people come to the school and feel the energy mm -hmm. in the school mm -hmm. and see that the students are happy uh, then they they usually will will begin but it has to do with what is my interest one of the things that also is shared by those three programs is that you have to like people you have to want to be one on one with someone yes because that's what the interaction is about mm -hmm. so is that who is who i am and if you don't like to touch people then that's not your that's not your gift that's yes. not your <laughs> well and also they are all three service professions exactly they're about service and they're about um really providing uh, uh, whether it's resources or actual in the uh, personal trainer would be mm -hmm. guiding someone perhaps who has been injured yes. uh, and, and I think that's important uh, the one of the things about um, the personal trainer program which is our newest program is that it is really where massage was when we started massage which oh. was that there was no regulation and uh, anyone could say, well, I'm a massage therapist and, and um, start massaging people. But that is, they, they w hadn't been taught proper okay. 
uh, body mechanics or actually how the body works, the anatomy and physiology of the body. So the programs are all structured so you really learn mm -hmm. um, all the basic skills so that okay. you are really offering a good service to people, something that's going to enhance their lives. Uh, you don't know this, but I actually had a massage from one of your students, ah. and uh, he was like, he was very good, and oh, he did actual, um, we had a pamper party, mm -hmm. and he came out and did the chair massages and everything, so you are definitely producing, I know firsthand, some excellent students. Well, good. And if someone, say for instance, they're not in the Atlanta area, but they wanted to seek a massage therapist, what are key things that they should look for probably in a massage therapist? Like you mentioned regulation and how they used to not be regulated. So how do they, how should they go about seeking? Well, most of the uh, uh, states now uh, um, do have uh, state licensure for massage. It's taken many years for that to happen. Okay. But uh, that would be one thing is to f make sure that someone is uh, licensed. Um, I would research what type of massage they do, what school they went to, uh, are they a member of any organizations? There are massage organizations where you can actually go online and look in your area. We have a service at the school where you can go on our website and actually just put your uh, zip code in and find a massage therapist in your area. So, and, and ask people. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, many of our students come uh, referred by other professionals. So when we started the aesthetics program, mm -hmm. we of course every time you start something new, it starts small. Mm -hmm. And um, but what started happening when they the, they started hearing about the school, the school had a great reputation as a massage school. So they said, hey, probably it's going to be a good aesthetic school too. Hmm. Then we started graduating wonderful estheticians, yes. and they went out into the community, met others. And uh, they and the, uh, the other statisticians were very impressed. Wow. Where, where did you go to school? Yes. And so even estheticians who are not graduates of our school refer uh, people to our school. Now you mentioned the services, and I do understand that you have in-house teaching clinic mm -hmm. where the public can actually come in and sample some of the services. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's called sensibility. And uh, it is a wonderful atmosphere because it, the students are very earnest about doing their best. And they are supervised. Uh, it's part of their learning process. So it's not okay. just where they feel like they're doing this. Uh, they love it. I've, I've, I see this in the students. They get just all excited, excited about That's working wonderful. with people. Um, and they, uh, uh, and we have, um, clients who have been coming to the uh, clinic for 25, 30 years. Wow. So it's, it's really a treat. I mean, they have followed us. They have actually watched the school grow. Uh, now we're in a, in a self-contained uh, building and uh, have 18 private uh, treatment rooms. And they remember when it was just a little place so wow, it's, it's wonderful that's to see. wonderful yes. that's wonderful now um, do you foresee alternative health care in the mainstream of health care ultimately I know personally I want to be able to go and pay my copay and be able to go to my alternative doctor but I don't know I mean we know I think that. I think absolutely it will when you see what's happening um, when I see what has happened in the years that I've been involved and the great changes. I think there's just much more awareness from everyone. Uh, some of it, you know, the contributions of show, shows like yours, but uh, it, it used to be that alternative health care was only one segment of society. Mm -hmm. Now it's really being embraced by yes. many different people uh, because they see that they are unhealthy. And what can we do and how I need to take responsibility for myself. Yes. And sometimes, um, of course, uh, traditional uh, medicine is um, very important. And, and gosh, uh, we're, we're living a lot longer as a result. Yes. But oftentimes, uh, as Melissa was saying, it's not always, it doesn't always work, does it? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you're on medications. 
that, that, that you're never going to get over. That's so true. you have to then begin looking at what can I do for myself yes. or how, what can I do for my parent, uh, for my children. I think it's yes. very important to teach children that they are responsible for their health, that, that their level of activity, that what they eat, um, and certainly that they hold uh, very positive mm -hmm. and, and uplifting thoughts, that they yes. want to be something yes. and want to contribute to other people. Yes. Um, that's what I love about what I do and why I've been doing it for so long. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming out this evening and just sharing about the school. And if people want to learn more information or want to hear more about the programs or learn more about your programs, where can they go? Well, since uh, they know me as the uh, founder of the Atlanta School of Massage, I would say go to atlantaschoolofmassage.com. Come. All right. That's AtlantaSchoolOfMassage.com. Thank you so much, Letitia thank Allen. You. And thank you guys for joining us this evening for our show. We will see you next month. It is Women's Health Month, and we have some fabulous guests and a secret guest that's actually going to be joining us next month. So we definitely are going to be changing it up for you, but just inspiring and educating those that want to hear more about how to live an alternative um, health care um, lifestyle, a holistic lifestyle, how to change um, their habits and just learning about living on purpose, meditating, uh, seeking your vision. Uh, that's what you want to strive to do, and that's what we want people to strive to do. So until next time, watch. See ya. <laughs>